Now to another lightning bolt, the economy. The Federal Reserve raises interest rates again. ABC's Morgan Norwood has more on what this could mean for the economy and your wallet. We have both the tools we need and the resolve that it will take to restore price stability on behalf of American families and businesses. The Fed is raising a key interest rate by three quarters of a point. And the hope is that it'll help slow the continuing rise on prices on a variety of things from homes, gas and food. Americans paid 8.3 percent more for goods in August compared to a year ago. I feel it at the gas pumps, I feel it at the grocery store, I feel it at the restaurants, I feel it everywhere. We're suffering as middle class and lower class people. But there are signs that higher interest rates have actually helped. The housing market has weakened and the construction of new homes has slowed. The way it was last year was just not normal, where you had five, six buyers for every one home. We're getting closer to that one-to-one -one ratio, which is normal and healthy. According to the Fed, this interest rate hike won't be the last. They expect interest rates to hit 4.6 percent in the next year inflicting yet another round of economic pain for the millions of Americans who have debt. So for example, if you're carrying a $5,000 balance and are making minimum payments, you're already paying an additional $870 in interest because of rising rates this year. Well, after today's hikes, those interest payments balloon to more than $1,100. And the Fed is also predicting that the unemployment rate, which is now under 4%, could rise as well, saying today it expects it to go up to 4.4% by next year. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Los Angeles. And as expected, stocks reacted to the news. They fell in volatile trading after the Federal Reserve uh, raised rates to tame record and surging inflation. The Dow tumbles 522 points. The Nasdaq falls 205 and the S&P drops 66 points.